Different subsets. Now show Hannah and Health, The Frozen Grey, starring Miss Hoda, the classroom advisor, Health, classmate and friend of Hannah, and Hannah, student having difficulty in her schooling. On day, July 27, 2020, when Hannah suddenly remembered the reminder of Miss Olaf. Our quarter exam is scheduled on Thursday and Friday, third week of August. Study hard, okay? Hannah, may I talk to you? Hmm, I suggest that you should change your study habits to improve your grades. I'm sorry, Mom Olaf. I promise I will limit myself on using social media. From now on, I'll focus on studying. Hey, Hannah! How are you? Are you okay? I'm here to listen. Oh, Helsa. Mm, I'm having problems in coping with our lessons. Well, maybe I can help you. Really? Wow, thanks a lot. Don't be sad. Call me by 8 p.m. tonight. Hello, Hannah. I have a solution to your problems. You can borrow my notes and we can study together. Wow, that's great. Thanks, Halsa. I'll be there tomorrow to borrow your notes and read them first. See you tomorrow. Hannah, these are my notebooks of our eight subjects. Filipino, English, Science, Math, TLE, Values, ESP, and MAPE. Hello, Halsa. These are the notebooks that I need. Math, TLE, and Science. I'm so glad I have Halsa as my friend. Thank you, Halsa, for being such a good friend and study buddy. I owe you a lot. Welcome, Hannah. It's my pleasure. Good job, my dear students. Let us define difference of two sets. The difference of two sets, A and B, is the set of elements found in A without the elements that are also in B. To relate this to our virtual comics a while ago, let us add this. So in here, Elsa has eight notebooks. Those are Filipino, English, Science, Math, TLE, Values, AP, and MAPE. Now, Hannah borrowed three notebooks, and those are Math, TLE, and Science. The notebooks that were left with Helsa will be the difference of sets. So how many notebooks were left? That's correct. Five notebooks were left and those are Filipino, English, Values, AP, and MAPE. To understand it further, let us have specific examples. For number one, find the difference between A and B. So our set A has the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and set B has the elements 1 and 2. To find the difference between A and B, we must list the elements of A, which are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, minus the elements of B, which are 1 and 2. Well, to get the difference, again, these are the elements found in A, without the elements in B. And therefore, we must remove 1 because it is also in B. And we must remove 2 because it's also in B. Now, what are the elements found in A? That's correct. We have 3, 4, and 5. And therefore, the difference between A and B will be 3, 4, and 5. Number 2. Find the difference between C and D. Set C has the elements 6, 7, and 8. And set D has the elements 8, 9, and 10. To find the difference, we must list the elements of C, which are 6, 7, and 8. 
minus the elements of D, which are 8, 9, and 10. So again, this will be the elements found in C without the elements in D. And therefore, we must remove A because it's also in D. Now, what will be the difference? That's correct. We have 6 and 7 as the difference between C and D. Now, why is it that 9 and 10 is not included as the difference of C and D? That's correct. Because 9 and 10 is not part, are not part, rather, of set C. Questions? Let's proceed to number 3. Set E has the elements 8, 9, and 10, and set F is an empty set. To find the difference, we must list the elements of set E, which are 8, 9, and 10. Minus the elements of F. But notice that set F is an empty set. From what we have discussed before, empty set means it has no elements. Since it has no elements, what will be the elements in E without the elements in F? That's correct. That is because we cannot remove any elements. And therefore, the difference between E and F will be 8, 9, and 10. Questions? Well, if none, it's your turn. You can pause the video while answering this. Find the difference of the following sets. Set A has the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Set B has the elements 2, 3, and 4. Set C has the elements 1, 3, and 5, while set D has the elements 4, 5, and 6. This is what you're going to look for. Number 1, the difference between A and C. Number 2, the difference between A and D. Number 3, the difference between C and B. And number 4, the difference between B and D. Good luck! Let's check your answers. For number 1, the difference will be 2 and 4. Number 2, the difference will be 1, 2, and 3. Number 3, the difference will be 1 and 5. And for number 4, the difference will be 2 and 3. Well, if you get 4 out of 4, then very good. So let's proceed to this. Difference of sets using Venn diagram. So, find the difference between A and B. So, again, in here, we're going to use rectangle to represent the universal set and circles to represent the subsets. So, we must have our universal set. Now, our set A has the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Notice that set B has the elements 1 and 2, which are also in A. And therefore, B is a subset of A. Now, how are we going to get the difference of it? So again, to get the difference, this will be the elements found in A, A only, without the elements in B. So you're going to remove the elements in B that is also in A. Now, how are you going to illustrate this? This. As you observe, we'll remove the elements from B that are also in A. Now, the elements inside the shaded region will be the difference of A and B. And what are those elements? That's correct. We have 3, 4, and 5. For number 2, find the difference between C and D. So we have our universal set. Our set C has the elements 6, 7, and 8. And our set D has the elements 8, 9, and 10. Dot this that 8 is also an element of D. And therefore, 8 will be the intersection. This is from what we have studied before about the intersection of sets. 
Now, how are we going to get the difference? So again, this will be the elements in C without the elements in D. So again, you're going to remove the elements in D that are also in C. Now, how are we going to illustrate this? So as you observe, the shaded region will be the difference of sets. Now, what are the elements inside the shaded region? That's correct. We have 6 and 7 as the difference between C and D. For number 3, notice that the universal set is given. Our universal set has the following elements. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Set F has the elements 4, 5, and 6. And set H has the elements 4, 5, 7, and 8. Notice that 4 and 5 will be the intersection. And notice also that 9 and 10 are not part of elements of F and H. It's in the universal set, but it is not in F, and it's not in H. Now, how are we going to get the difference? So, again, this will be the elements found in H, because it is H minus F. So, again, the elements in H without the elements in F that are also in H. And therefore, we'll have this. Now, what are the elements inside the shaded region? That's correct. So we have 7 and 8 as the difference of H and F. Now, why is it that 9 and 10 are not part of it? That's correct. Because 9 and 10 is not are not included in set H. Questions? Well, if none, let's have practice. It's your turn. You can pause the video while answering this. For number one, find the difference between M and N. Set M has the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And set N has the elements 1, 2, and 3. Number two, Find the difference between R and P. Our set P has the elements 6, 7, and 8. And set R has the elements 3, 4, 5, and 7. Good luck! Let's check your answers for number 1. Find the difference between M and N. So let's use the universal set. It has set M, who has the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And it has a subset N, which has the elements 1, 2, and 3. And therefore, to get the difference of it, what are the elements in M without the elements in N? That's correct. And therefore, what are those elements inside? The shaded region. That's correct. And therefore, the difference between M and N will be 4 and 5. Or number 2, find the difference between R and P. Again, R and P, not P minus R. So let's illustrate. Our set P has the elements 6, 7, and 8. And set R has the elements 3, 4, 5, and 7. Notice that 7 is the intersection of P and R. Now, to get the difference, this will be the elements in R without the elements of P that are also in R. And therefore, we'll have this. Now, what are the elements inside the shaded region of R? That's correct. We have 3, 4, and 5 as the difference between R and P. 
Well, if you get two out of two, then very good. For your assignment, study about word problems involving sets. I hope you've learned. Thank you for watching. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you.